that isn't painful. You know, they, well, I shouldn't do anything, man, you know. The most fundamental reality is pain. Yes. Is there anything more fundamental than pain? Love. And I have my tendency to feel a hell of a lot more sorry for a set of confused, isolated, and lonely, pubescent girls who have no one to love them enough to help them appreciate who they are. I thought the marginalized were supposed to have a voice. Really? If you're in pain, love and truth, that's what you got. And you know, then I do for one overprivileged and unfortunately confused narcissistic Hollywood star. It's making you emotional to talk about it. Well, God, you know. You have no idea how many people that's killing. I, we also, we're also seeing if we enjoy it. And I'm happy to be here doing something like this with her. It's a real privilege. I close back yeah. to, you know, having children. I always... A close reading of 20th century history indicates, as nothing else can, the horrors that accompany loss of faith in the idea of the individual. You have no idea. I see people everywhere, all over the world, they're so demoralized, especially young people, especially young people with a conscience, because they've been told since they were little that there's nothing to them but corruption and power. It's like, how the hell do you expect them to react? It is only the individual, after all, who suffers. The group does not suffer. If they're more powerful than pain, maybe they're the most real things. Even in the revelation of their triumph, the initial depth of their despair, So I wouldn't change that, but it's not nothing. And it's certainly not just happiness. It's better than happiness, but it's almost unbearable. Well, I think it's, I think, you really want to know what I think? I think it's revenge yes. against God for the crime of being. That's really what I think. It's Cain and Cain and Abel. It's like, oh, Abel's your, Abel's your guy, eh, God? How about if I take him out in the field and beat him to death? How do you feel about that? All my sacrifices went unrewarded. Yeah, it's like, yeah, that's what it is at the bottom of the hell of things. I suppose, too, this has been enhanced by my ill health in recent years, but I always feel that it's a privilege to spend time with my children. Only those who compose it. Thus the reality of the individual must be regarded as primary. If suffering is to be regarded seriously, Without such regard, there can be no motivation to reduce suffering and therefore no respite. Instead, the production of individual suffering can and has and will be again rationalized and justified for its supposed benefits for the future and the group. And I have some sense of how fast time goes. You know, I've always had a very acute sense of the finitude of existence. And so, and this is a good hint for people who have children, but 
with regards to your family members at all is don't take it for granted.